I like years, period, and I love doing crazy, intricate ear projects, but the simplicity um, and the elegance of a doth with the right size jewelry, you can do a simple, even a steel captain bead ring and a, a small gauge, and it's still going to look really clean and really nice if you place it properly. It's just there's something about them I've always loved. I wish I got to do more of them, but it's still my number one favorite piercing to do for sure. Being a piercer, 80% uh, of your job is repetition. You're doing the same things over and over again. It's like being a tattoo artist and doing names and kanjis. That's what pays your bills. And then sometimes you get the chance to do something a little out of the ordinary, and that's really where the artistic side of piercing comes through. If I had to be honest, piercing isn't necessarily artistic unless you make it so and unless your client allows you to. Um, you know, I just, I like to, what I do with ear projects is I like to look at an ear and uh, I take a picture of it. I have the customer come back in a couple weeks or I email them. I pretty much spend two weeks and I print out their, their ear a bunch of times and I just draw on it and draw different designs. And then I pick usually the four to six best ones that I like, send it to the client and see what they think. And then we go from there. Um, it's also a question of being able to work fluidly. Um, when I see pictures, I can look at pictures online of people using, uh, for example, Industrial Strength is really the one that's, you know, has champ the jewelry company Industrial Strength has championed uh, Earmageddon. It's their yearly competition, um, one which I won in 2012, first place. But with their new jewelry options with multi-thread points on stones, you see a lot of them, you can buy them right out of the catalog. As a stock item so I see a lot of people using them on Instagram and Tumblr and I could just look at it and I'm like you didn't think you looked at the jewelry took the jewelry and just slapped it in there you didn't think to adjust for maybe a variance like this ridge sticks out a little bit farther so this post has to be a little bit shorter so everything looks matched and, and clean um, you have to be able to, to mid project you might need to stop and say okay this isn't gonna work the way that I thought so before you put the client through that second or tertiary or you know fourth piercing Make sure that you're double checking everything, double checking your angles. Uh, you know, a good example I can say is um, there's the three prong uh, gem orbits that are like this. Um, I do the first piercing, put the jewelry in, and leave the other two threads out. And then I rotate and double check with a toothpick to make sure my lines are still, my marks are still on. And if I need to adjust, that way I can adjust, that way there's no pressure being put on the client's piercings, which you can tell looking at a picture that bar, if one of those posts is pushing too much to one side, that skin's gonna bunch up on one of the sides, which can clearly irritate during healing, can create scar tissue, just be you know, uncomfortable for the customer. Oh my God, I love it. Thank you so much, it's wonderful. Awesome, oh. glad you like it. I can't wait to show it off. Just go off with this for like the rest of the week.